What's going on guys? I am here in my garage getting ready to show you my Nulled Open HomeKit Garage Door Opener. Now in this video we're basically going to show you how it works, what it's capable of, and also how I was able to accomplish this with this specific Ryobi Garage Door Opener model. Uh, so the garage door opener, the Nulled Open, is actually right here. It took a little bit of time to get to this point, but it's finally finished and uh, I've been using it for a couple weeks now and it works great. Can't really say too much more about it. Let's show you how it works. So basically, you got this Nulled Open right here. That's what this device is called. And uh, there's some wires going into it. We're gonna get into that in a second. And then it is basically jumping off of this keypad here that's mounted on the wall. This is just your standard keypad here. And uh, you know, you can see it's if you open the garage door, you can see that the garage door opens. Go ahead and close that. So it still functions normally like a garage door opener. And then basically what we've got going on here is we've got my power supply going to the Nold Open. Now I, I basically I fished this through the wall. I don't really like having a lot of wires, but um, this is the final setup. Probably could have been trimmed up a little bit more, but at, towards the end when you when you start putting a lot of hours into these projects, sometimes you you tend to get a little lazy at the end. So this was the final project. Um, I actually, this is a Radio Shack power supply. At first I was actually using a uh, 24 volt power supply. It, it worked great, but it had fans on it because it was outputting a lot of amps and it just was not necessary. So this is what I ended up with. Um, this is a variable adjustable voltage power supply. I got it set on 15 volts right now and it's outputting one amp, which is plenty of power for this thing. I haven't experienced any issues thus far and I use it all the time and it works great. Um, so basically I'm going to demonstrate the the HomeKit ca compatibility because that's that's what you guys want to see right now. So um, if we come over here to my workbench, I got my iPad set up and actually there's a little bit of a glare. Let's see what we can do about that one second. Move this over here. So basically with with this, I got my home app launched right now, and uh, we've got a couple buttons here. Now, these three buttons here are for the nulled open, and right now it says that the garage door is locked. So, I'm actually going to demonstrate it with Siri here. Siri, is my garage door open? Your garage door is locked. So Siri's telling us that our garage door is locked, and uh, that's that's based on the sensor that we have over here. We're gonna take a quick walk, walk walk over here, and basically you can see we have a sensor that is connected right there, and it's basically just a contact sensor. It's um, what happens is when the garage door lifts up, the sensor pulls away and it knows that the garage door is open. Um, there's some simple instructions on how to set that up. And let's go back to Siri. Siri, unlock my garage door. Okay, the garage door is unlocked. And there it goes. And I don't know if you could hear that before it actually um, opened you could hear a little click and what that was is that was the Nold Opens relay actually activating it and basically pulsing that output to let the garage door know to open. Now I can actually come back to Siri and and guys uh, because I've got an Apple TV I've, I can actually do this remotely so um, if I wasn't home or if I wasn't on the Wi-Fi I'd still be able to do this. Siri is my garage door open? Your garage door is unlocked. My garage door is unlocked, which it is, and that's good. So if I was, say, away from the house or, you know, someone, you know, maybe broke in and opened the, the, my garage door somehow, um, you know, I could get status updates on whether or not the garage door is open, whether it's closed, so that's really cool. Um, I can also do things like have the garage door automatically open once I'm in a certain proximity of the house. So if I wanted to pull in with my car into the garage without having to hit the button, you can do certain things like that. Um, and let's, let's go ahead and close this. Siri, close my garage door. Okay, the garage 
door is locked. There it goes. So guys, hopefully that wasn't terribly loud. Um, let me actually, before I go into how I set this up, why I decided to do this. So I'm a big fan of Ryobi products, especially this garage door opener. This garage door opener has the capabilities of adding modules. You know, I use their tools and everything like that. You could hook fans up to it, power cords, all kinds of different things. Uh, but I think the number one reason why I decided to go with it when I was choosing my garage door opener was the fact that it is a belt drive and not a chain drive. So it's so much quieter uh, than a, your traditional garage door opener. And, and that was really important for me. My wife, she works very early. She goes to bed very early. Um, and when I come home in the middle of the night, I don't want to wake her. I don't want to disturb her. And I sure as heck don't want a garage door opener waking her up in the middle of the night. So believe it or not, I can pull in here with my car, open this garage door opener and close it before I go into the house and she never even hears anything. So that's really great for me. Um, but now I'm going to show you, I'm going to get into actually how I was able to get this done. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a experience because these wires were all over the place and uh, I'm going to show you that right now and how I was able to do this. Um, so uh, I, it was kind of fighting with me a little bit when I was deciding which garage door opener to go with at the time because I knew I'd, I'd eventually want to get it hooked up to HomeKit and uh, there wasn't a lot of options so I found this thing which is really cool because I think this is going to be able to be used for a lot of more things rather than just garage door openers. What makes this especially unique is this device here actually has the ability to give you outputs and inputs and um, they do have a normally close contact but I don't think that's actually being used right now for HomeKit. Uh, as far as I know the only outputs that work currently is output 1 and output 2 and then the input 1 and input 2 does work as well. This is one device, you hook it up to HomeKit. I've already gotten it hooked up and tested it. It works great. Uh, I'll do a demo of that shortly. And um, basically, when it comes to uh, the output, how this works here is I have the garage door actually wired to, this is the wall switch that came with the Ryobi unit. And um, this was a little tricky because what I had to do was I actually had to solder on wires to where the physical switch was right here and the wires go in the back and then they connect to the device here and and basically it's I basically created a second button by doing this and uh, this output is just a relay so once that relay triggers it will then take and basically connect these two wires together and the garage door open. Now the interesting thing about this device is on output one for the Nold open, it actually does a pulse. So it sends just a quick pulse, maybe 0.1 seconds, and uh, that's all you really need to trigger the garage door to open. Um, and then output number two could actually be hooked up to a second device, uh, such as your lights here. And um, you know, I'll actually I'll show you these. I actually have the lights to the garage door wired. So what I'll do, is actually just touch them. So what I'll do is I'll uh, touch these and uh, what you can actually see when I touch these together is the light goes off. I'm sorry. The light goes on. So it's hard to do this with one hand but basically you get the idea when you touch these two wires together it, it triggers the, uh, the button on the switch because all I did was jump it. Now um, so output one is a pulse. Output number two is actually a, it holds on and it holds off. Um, so that would only really be useful if uh, you were controlling maybe something else that could use something like that. And then they have these other things here, input one and input two. Now on input one, what's really cool is they give you this magnetic sensor that comes with it. Now I've yet to kind of hook this up, but um, this magnetic sensor gets installed physically on the door and that's what actually detects when the door is open or when the door is closed. So the cool thing with that is, especially for you HomeKit guys, I mean if you want to know remotely 
if your door is open or if it's closed, you can simply say, hey Siri, is my garage door open? And it's gonna tell you your garage door is open or it's closed. I tested it, it works amazing. So I'll show you a demo of that uh, shortly. Now, getting back to this um, unit, because this is not just a, a video on this Nold Open, although it's a, it's a great device, it's also about how to set it up with this Ryobi uh, garage door opener. Now, luckily, if you come over here, to my workbench here. I've actually got a secondary switch here. So, what's really cool, especially for you guys who are just thinking about buying these devices, I've got the secondary switch, and I'll actually show you what it looks like on the inside. So, all we gotta do is actually take this board out, and you can see uh, basically what the inside of the switch looks like. So, this is very easy to take apart. It's a couple screws. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that too much. And see, this is just soft press keys. And, uh, you know, you've probably seen this being used before on some other type of keypad. And uh, then these are just these are just regular momentary push buttons. So the garage door opener actually uses either the K10 or the K11 push button to actually open or close. If you actually press this button once or this button once, the garage door will either open or close depending on what state it is. Now that's without the Nold open, that's just how the device works normally. So what you need to do is you need to decide which button you're gonna use. I decided to use K10 and um, there's not really a big difference between the two. The only difference is when you hold down one button, when you physically hold it down, you can manually lift the door up and manually, well the, actually this one, this one makes the door go up, I think, and then this one makes the door go down. I'm not sure, but it's one, one or the other. Um, so you ha you have to pick which switch you want to use, and uh, I'm going to get you kind of zoomed in here, so you can kind of see what I did. So basically, what I did on this device is, if you look at that contact right there, and if you look at this contact right here, I soldered one wire off of this one and one wire off of this one. And basically all that does is make it so that way when I touch the two wires together, it's like I'm actually pressing this switch. And that's basically simulating a press. So it's basically kind of like just putting another button on this board. Um, it was very simple to put on and I'm actually glad I have the second one here so I could show you this. And um, that, yeah, that was basically it. I just put a wire on that contact and then I put a wire on that contact. And it worked very, very well. You touch the, you know, you touch the two wires together and it opens the garage door. Or if the garage door is already open, it closes the garage door. So that's all I did. I soldered that on. So if you're, you know, you're not really good with a solder, maybe you might want to get a friend or, or somebody who, who is a little bit more familiar with. It's not hard. Um, there's some great videos to show you how to do that. And uh, once I got the, the wires hooked up to this board, I basically put it back in the box, and those wires, you can see those wires are coming off of here, and then they go right into the output one of this device. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, it's pretty simple.